Let's get to 50 Cent. Now, y'all know I've been putting out videos. I've been going in. And I, now one of the topics I've been speaking about has been 50 Cent and his baby mama. And the reason why I've been talking about 50 and his baby, because I find it very interesting. 50 has known to be a troll. 50 is known to, you know, troll people and say certain things. But his uh, baby's mother took exception to it. And, you know, she put out this post trying to make it seem like he's abusing her. She put out this clip as well of her, I guess, trying to cry. I, I don't know. But <laughs> I think she's trying to run interference for Diddy, which, you know, may end up getting her, you know, she might end up losing custody trying to run interference for an obvious sexual deviant. You are a paid concubine and again i have nothing against daphne joy but it's very clear to me that you're trying to defend diddy in your own way your own weird way why are you doing this yeah 50's making you know um jokes but that's what it is it's jokes 50's not the one who's paying you to be his concubine and then not only that you get upset and you expose information. You said uh, 50 hasn't seen his child in, you know, what, 10 times in two years? Even though you moved to be close to him. But it wasn't that, too. You know, she said that he abused her. He forced himself on her. That's what she said about 50 Cent. Why are you offering this information now? Is it because you're looking bad out here in these streets? Even Carisha isn't going this far. You know what I'm saying? And I think she's running interference, unfortunately, for Diddy. And this is what 50 Cent had to say when she tried to expose him. Shout out to Brian Turner. Uh, yeah, Brian Turner. The black community has fully and thoroughly embraced the generosity. The black no community return. has fully and thoroughly embraced degeneracy to the point of no return. It's why so many black folks support feminism. Appreciate that. Yeah. And this and this why, you know, people talking about, well, we're here to fix the black community. You'll never be able to fix something that is broken. 50 said, you moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me. But I was busy. So you moved back and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now here we are, little sex worker. And, you know, she doesn't like that. She wants to accuse 50 Cent of, again, putting his hands on her, uh, forcing himself on her, um, which I really don't believe. 50 talked about, you know, he's ready to see her in court. You'll see from this post right here. I mean, she did this to herself, right? She did this to herself. And um, trying to put out salacious things to try to defect, deflect from the fact that you were with Diddy, you were his paid concubine. And um, that's what she tried to do. She said she's not a sex worker. Well, well, how would Lil Rod know of you? It's because you were around Diddy when he was around Diddy over the last year. Lil Rod was not even allowed to leave Diddy's side for holidays. Right. What's good, uh? I think I shouted out Mark Stewart. This is all because Lil Rod didn't get paid. And if Diddy would have did what he was supposed to do, he could have avoided this. And I want y'all to understand something about women like Daphne Joy. Daphne Joy is the type of woman. She actually had value out here. She went from Diddy she got with Jason Derulo, and then she, you know, she, she was with 50 Cent, and then she got with Jason Derulo, and then she ended up with Diddy for a brief moment, but then we never saw anything else from her again. Only for us to find out that she's a paid concubine. There's a lot of women like her. There's a lot of these paid concubines. They don't have a job. They don't own no business, but they always on vacations. They're always at hotels, vacation resorts. They're on private planes, right? 
they're in expensive uh, shopping stores, uh, stores or whatever. You wonder, well, how was she able to have that lifestyle? She's not actively in a relationship with 50 Cent, but she is dealing with Diddy. So, you know, I, I didn't know they were still dealing with each other. I thought that was just a fling. But he put her on the payroll. And how do we know? We know from Lil Rod because she was around Diddy when Lil Rod was around Diddy. That's why she's named in this. She's one of his paid concubines. But you see, she wants to deflect and try to make accusations towards 50 because she thinks that she's going to wreck his reputation. Let me tell you something, Joy, uh, Daphne. Um, if 50, 50, th 50 threat threat, if 50 felt that you were trying to threaten his, his, his particular, uh, reputation, he would go after you very harshly, you know? And I think that child, you know, um, child custody would be the least of your concerns. He'd be trying to sue you and he'd probably be successful. I mean, look at all the other women he's sued and, and successfully sued. I just think she's, a, she got caught up. She's looking at the comments. She's getting clowned. You know, he clowned her. So she wants to make up lies in order to make herself look good. But all you're doing, Daphne, is defending Diddy. Because, one, how would Lil Rod know y'all deal with each other? Did Lil Rod, sh did he show Lil Rod anything from you? Did, were you hanging around Little Rod and Diddy? You're putting all your anger, you're making up things about 50 in order to say, hey, it ain't just Diddy. 50's a bad person too. Well, how come you haven't said anything before? Why do you wait now to say these things? This is why people are very, you know, they don't want to hear women try to be victims when they want to wait to the last, not last minute, they want to wait until they're mad in order to try to reveal something. The same thing with Stevie J. Stevie J is the same guy. You know, he's getting upset. He's he's in his feelings all over jokes. This is social media. I've seen worse. Um, but people see y'all hang around each other and we know what's up. We know what's up. And I think that you know, you know, a lot is getting exposed out here and these people are not, maybe they're not prepared for it. Maybe they didn't think that it would cause the firestorm that it has. Do you know damn near every live stream that I see <laughs> or video I see of um, people talking about um, Diddy is like, they're doing, they're doing a lot of numbers. As a matter of fact, Let's get to this clip here. Oh, that's just a damn Diddy owes a hundred million to a bank. But we have another video clip that we're gonna get into of Diddy. Um, well, I'll talk about it later. Diddy's with um Stevie J in Miami. I, I'll get to that in another in another segment. But I, I just I want to close this out by saying this, Daphne. Do not get yourself caught up in court getting sued because of your feelings. A lot of you heifers love to lie and make up things when you get caught. That's what y'all do. And to me, it's not going to work out. It's not. And I think she's running interference for Diddy. I, I, I've seen it before. I've seen where a woman will get embarrassed by one person, but then they'll get mad at somebody else. It's like, well, wait a minute. Why aren't you upset? at the person that got you in the situation. Why are you upset with the person that's laughing? You upset with the person that's laughing instead of the person that made the joke. <laughs> you know, you are getting mad at everybody for laughing at the joke, but that's, that's what happens. That's that projection. Look at Stevie J Stevie J that's been, there's been rumors out there for a while, sir. You know what I'm saying? 50 ain't the only one making jokes about it. But, you know, that's the power of getting laughed at. A lot of people, they get laughed at. They don't know how to, they don't know how to deal with it. I just don't think you're going to be successful, Daphne. Especially with these lies, Daphne. I, with these lies, Daphne. 
You're saying that this man is abusing you and forcing himself on you? That's crazy. Lil Boosie defending Diddy is hypocrisy at its finest. People mm. like him don't care about black people. He wants to revive what's left of his career. <laughs> Appreciate that, Brian. Boosie um, considers himself to be old school. And uh, he, considers, he considers himself to be old school. I think that's where his thinking is coming from. He considers himself to be old school. Listen, I'm not defending none of these people. Y'all know I am a red pill content creator, and I am not about to defend the, the, the horrible behavior of anybody. We're going to hold people accountable, whether they're male or female. All right.